Hello, 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 girls. So in this video, I just want to talk about the U.S. market. Well, this means perfectly describe the current situation. John Powell, okay, how are you still alive? What is he talking about? He is talking about the U.S. labor market, and the U.S. labor market honestly have no idea why is still pretty strong. If you look at the unemployment data, the employment data, the non agricultural employment, agricultural employment, you can still say that the U.S. labor market is quite strong. But the point is, there's something you need to understand. When we talk about the survey, or when we talk about the data connection of the labor market, there are so many loopholes. For example, one of the collect data collection method is they will scan the internet and find those job recruitment advertisements. So the big data, using the big data, when they saw a lot of company posting job advertisement, then they will they will generate the data that oh there should be a lot of people employed. Otherwise, those job uh, recruitment should not be that many. But the point is, those advertisement can be so misleading. A lot of company, in order to prove they are solid, they are well established, they will post a lot of job advertisement, which are absolutely fake. It means they actually don't want to hire people. They post it just to fake the investor. So if the U.S. government using this kind of information to calculate the labor market, it will be in big chaos. And I believe that what I'm going to tell you, you may you may never. Here before, okay. So, be careful. When the media, when the mainstream media finally talk about what I just tell you, the drawback, the loopholes of the labor market, then the whole investment world will getting so very scared, and then the stock market will collapse. So, people, let's see if I'm right about it. My prediction is a lot of people. Uh, probably in the coming six months, we'll talk about the problem of the calculation of the employment and unemployment. And I believe that I'm absolutely correct. So people, feel free to tell me what you think. I will read and reply all your comments. Thank you.